Welcome everyone, this is Anta with Repro Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2023 and specifically the adaptive propagation of rebars functionality. Here I have Revit 2023 open and a basic 3D Revit model and the view is called 3D Adaptive Propagation of Rebars. It has basic concrete columns and beams and floors. I have one column that already has rebar and I have a beam that has rebar as well. So I'd like to use this new functionality to create the rest of the rebar for the rest of the columns and maybe one beam faster instead of having to manually place them or copy paste functionality. What I'll do is I'll switch to wireframe so it's a little easier to see and I'll zoom in and I'll select the rebar that I want to deal with. So I'm going to pick this one, hold control, pick the other ones. Now that I have the rebar that I need to propagate, I click up here in the contextual tab of the ribbon, propagate rebar. Since we're dealing with uh, multiple hosts and the align by face may not function for you because you've got multiple faces that you're dealing with, I'm gonna choose align by host. Then I can go through and pick the remaining columns to push that data into. And when I'm finished, I click this finish command right here and it will take me out of that command. And now I have my rebar. In the same way with the beams, we can do that. So I'm gonna reorient myself, place and select the rebar that I need that are coming from the beams. Click propagate rebar and select the host uh, face by align, align by host. Pick the one that I want, hit finish and I'm done. It's very, very fast and easy way for you to replicate your rebar for different hosts using this new tool. Now, if I shade it, you will be able to see all the rebar just because I set the visibility display to be able to see through and unobscured objects. Uh, we have one more beam over here. Perhaps we need to do the same thing. So again, rinse and repeat. I'm gonna select the rebar, click propagate rebar, align by host, pick the host, and finish. So it's very fast, it's very easy for you to start building this quickly and easily. These rebar over here have specific colors set up, and uh, I have been asked before in the past, how do you do that? So all you need to do is select the rebar that you want. If I go over here to visibility states, click edit, make sure that's unobscured so you can see through it, then right click and override graphics by element. And here I can change the colors to be something else. And I'm going to cancel this just for a second because the ones that were already done, the vertical members are red. So let's make them the same. Right click, override by element, solid fill, red. If I were to, let's say, select this rebar and this rebar, override graphics by category, and set this to a different color, just for the sake of double checking to see what's going to happen, I'm going to pick a color that's not normally used, say this color here. All of the rebar are going to change this way. So we don't necessarily want to do override by category. We want to do override by element because if you're trying to make it look specifically, you know, certain rebar a certain way and uh, other rebars a different way, you'll have to do override by element. So these are blue. So I'll select this. Select, I'll do SA. Nope, that won't work either. Because uh, if you type in SA, that's to select all objects visible in the entire model, which is going to select all the rebar, not just these. So for now, we'll just override for this one column and we'll right click override by element, make it solid, and then make the color again. I think I chose this one. And for the rest, you can do that on your own. Um, but this is a quick video on taking a look at the new functionality of propagating the rebar design from one host to other hosts quickly and easily. 